I think the key word, honestly, is just community. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I say it a lot, and that's all that I get. So, mentorship, networking, all this is just a huge community. And like you said, it's not even just one specific fraternity or sorority. As long as you in the D9, even sometimes if you went to an HBCU, it's just, hey, love, Virginia yeah. State, how, what, you know? Love, yeah. So that's like a different type of love. My name is Christopher Thomas. I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the Alpha Phi chapter at Clark Atlanta University. Um, I became a member because I wanted to be a part of the best. It seemed like it fit well. The Alpha Phi chapter was doing great things on campus at the time, and um, it drew me to it. Hi everyone, my name is Eli, and I'm a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated by way of the elegant and noble Epsilon Nu chapter of the nation's first degree grant to HBCU, Lincoln University. And I joined um, AKA because I was interested in being a part of something a bit greater than what I had already made in terms of my mark on campus. I love the way that they carried themselves on campus, the events that they threw, and what they stood for, their morals and values. I felt like it was in very close alignment with what it is that I wanted for myself and how it is that I saw myself as a woman. So that is my reason for joining the organization. Okay, my name is Andre Virgo, a member of the Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Virginia State Alpha Phi Chapter. Um, the reason why I joined, honestly, I just did my research and that was the one that just gravitated more to my lifestyle, I felt like. Um, at the time, we weren't on the campus, so I didn't really have like a lot of people to look up to, so I was just going off of basic like book knowledge and I just gravitated to that. Hi, my name is Bianca. I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, um, and I pledged at Howard University. Um, <laughs> and one of the reasons why I wanted to be uh, a Delta was really because of the sisterhood. It's really nothing like a team, a gang, a mob, a community behind you. Um, and also just the energy that the Deltas have on campus. Like they ran the yard. When you saw Delta, you knew what it was. And I kind of saw that energy in myself. My name is Calvin Pierre. Um, I pledged Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Shout out to the bros. Ay -ay -ay -ay. <laughs> so um, the reason why I joined uh, Omega Psi Phi uh, Fraternity Incorporated is uh, because of the legacy. Really, man, when I seen the list of, of men that came from Omega, it just grabbed my attention. And um, also seeing the bros on the yard, just hopping, they have so much confidence and I just wanted to be a part of that. So that's why I pledged Omega Psi Phi. So for me, um, a positive impact while joining like a fraternity in my undergrad, I think it was just, um, just going into a leadership role. Um, like I mentioned, we were off the yard for a little bit, so we needed people like on the board. So I automatically became like the secretary and then the year later I became vice president. So I was just able to just see the structure, the business structure of like fraternities and sororities and how you know, they plan like international things all over. So I thought that was like just a positive thing for me and just the brotherhood. I was actually amongst the older, like I was actually one of the oldest people on my line. Um, so I also went back to Lincoln University in order to complete my undergraduate degree. And um, I think for that, that created a shift and change in perspective because I had to do a lot of humbling of myself. And I also had to look at the bigger picture in a sense. Um, so me crossing at the time in my life where I crossed, I think that it allowed me to really t pay attention to womanhood specifically and look at the way that I view myself as a woman, as an alpha woman on top of that. Um, and find which ways I fit into this organization without disrupting the natural flow of what they already had going on. Like kind of just going with the current. So I think that it helped me to actually find myself and find my lane on campus in terms of the things that I was interested in doing, the type of crowd I was interested in being around. For myself, I would have to say the positive impact across in the undergrad was um, gaining that brotherhood and gaining that accountability. I'm one of the rare people I know it's like, kind of a common thing when you're pledging and everything, you kind of struggle in some of your studies, but like our chapter, we're like really big about holding each other accountable to like, no, you're still gonna maintain, if not get better grades while you're, while you're pledging and everything. So I think that level of accountability and kind of that level of like professionalism, it really taught me, I know it sounds cliche, it taught me how to be a man, but it taught me many aspects of manhood that I hadn't learned in other places yet. Um, so I think it was very beneficial to me at that time in life being 18 years old and trying to figure out, you know, what I want to do, where I'm going type thing, and then to have somebody to kind of apply that structure to it. So I think 
It taught me about the positive impacts of tradition and the need to honor the past as well as the present. Like I feel like we look towards the future so much that sometimes we forget the past. And um, I think obviously there's foundation in from where we came, you know what I mean? There's foundation in honoring those that came before us and honoring the foundation that they created for us. And I think um, tradition is what connects like the old and the new, you know, it connects the past um, and the future. And um, yeah, it really kind of made me understand the need to kind of like continue, at least those positive, you know, the positive, the positive, <laughs> <laughs> the positive traditions, you know, it, you know, I hold those dear. So for me, uh, it showed me that I could do anything, my potential, you know, like college wasn't easy for me and going through the process didn't make it easier. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it showed me that if I don't quit, there's something on the other side, you know what I mean? And um, that was the biggest thing for me. And since then, I, I've always pushed myself because I, I know what I'm capable of. And I feel like joining this organization brought it out of me, you know? The benefits after college uh, of it was, of course, um, gaining an immense and impressive network. Uh, you know, it's a lot of phone calls you can make to get a lot of opportunities that, you know, wouldn't have been available to you otherwise. To add on to that, what I also found to be really, really beneficial is you don't necessarily have to be a part of the organization, like the, of the networks and people around you in order to kind of benefit from it. Because I've noticed that the D9 looks out for the D9. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's and I think that that's really, really impactful. I think the key word, honestly, is just community. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I say it a lot and that's all that I get. So mentorship, networking, all this is just a huge community. And like you said, it's not even just one specific fraternity or sorority. As long as you in the D9, even sometimes if you went to a HBCU, it's just, yeah, hey, love, Virginia yeah. State, how, so what, you know? Yeah. So that's like a different type of love and um, I'm from Connecticut and um, like you said, just being up north, I didn't see like the Divine Nine. It was there like after the fact when I joined, you know, you realize it, but I didn't see it growing up. I see it, it was one teacher that was like an iota. I just remember that. But other than that, um, I didn't see it. And I think just being a part of it, you, you get to understand the benefits of it. Like, Representation matters. So when you see like these black figures in your community and then you find out, oh, they're part of this organization or they went to this college or this, you know, situation, it's just, it, it sparks something. Cause I remember when I was that young and then I went to Virginia State, I was like, what is going, why, why y'all hopping? And the part, like, I don't even get this. And then you start to learn and it's just, it just, it's an amazing thing. Like I don't regret it at all.